representing the people of Eche Omoma Federal Constituency. I'm from River State, the treasure base of the nation. I'll go straight to the motion, Mr. Speaker. Note the recent directive by the Central Bank of Nigeria to, co to commercial banks on the addition to social media handles on know your customer requirement, thus making it mandatory for commercial banks to comply. We are aware that recently the Central Bank of Nigeria released its Customer Due Diligence Regulation 2023, noting the importance of social media handles on Know Your Customer would galvanize compliance with anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing provisions. Also know that also know that obtaining the additional information would be useful to financial institutions in assessing customers' online presence and activities, thus enabling better assessments of potential risks associated with the money laundering, terrorism financing, and profanation financing. Right on this, can we observe that as laudable as this directive may appear? may also be unnecessary as it's likely to be a pressure on teaming Nigeria masses at this trying period. Cognizant of the fact that this directive by CBN is in conflict with the provision of Section 37 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended on the right to privacy of citizens. Also cognizant of the fact that the banks in the, in the country already have the names, telephone numbers, passport photographs, email, national identification number, biometrics, verification number, utility bills, and other basic requirements with which to identify, know, and monitor their customers. Mr. Speaker, we also took further cognizance that there are better means of monitoring money laundering, terrorism financing, and proliferation financing, such as the Nigerian Police Force, Nigerian Financial, Nigerian Financial Intelligence, with the Economic Financial Crime Commission, EFCC. Right, Mr. Speaker, we also worried that if the directive takes effect, Nigerians who are not on social media with large turnovers from their businesses and trees would be compared to or systematically excluded from former banking system with its attendant negative effects and implications. Right on this we also worried about the untold hardship. This effects, this directive will cost millions of Nigerians, especially the illiterate or semi-illiterate business owners, traders, entrepreneurs living in the villages and rural areas who do not have social media handles. Concerned that this implementation, concerned that implementation this CBN directive at this point may clearly be, unnes be unnecessary as it is likely to be a lot of pressure on TV Nigerian masses. Right, Mr. Kaur, we also took cognizance that implementing this CBN directive at this point may clearly be unnecessary. It is likely to be a lot of pressure on TV Nigerian masses. Mr. Speaker, again, we took cognizance of the need to revisit and halt the Central Bank of Nigeria directive to reduce the hardship and pain faced by Timi Nigerians. We resolve as follows. To urge the Central Bank of Nigeria to halt the implementation of this policy. Two, mandate the Committee on Banking and Currency, when constituted, to investigate matter and report back within three weeks for, for further legislative action. Right on which that thirdly also mandate the committee on legislative compliance when constituted to ensure implementation of this motion. Thank you, Every Speaker. Without no respect, Mr. Speaker, if you permit me, I will meander my way and lay this motion before the House. I put the question, those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it.